<clears throat> All right, so I've got to go find Drizz. Drizz, however you pronounce it. Where's my? Where am I? Okay. Yeah, this is not it. This is actually not it. It's. I think it's up here. I think if I go. Let me go to Nashville and then. Oh, well, never mind. Let me try and go to Nashville. A simple task. Then go this way. No. Let's go here. And then go to the Don't left. Touch oh, cool. me. <laughs> and I catch there it is. This is it. All right. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. Drizz. Get out of my way. Beggar. Um, I think, he, yeah, he's right here. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and see if I can heal or rest so I can, you know. So we can get a little light to work by. All right. So uh, they gave Driz... Uh, spells now he can cast his spell and for some reason his dispel always seems to work i guess he might well he, he might be a really high level i don't know what his level is but it you know it just instantly dispels everything i have so um what i'm going to do is we're going to make him cast those first and then we're going to cast our buffs because if we cast our buffs first he'll just undo them what is this yeah all right this is the uh he's got web you know he has a cap here's the thing as a ranger i which i believe is he is he's supposed to have a cap of level 9 for his spell casting but apparently that's not the case because he dispels all my buffs instantly and without fail it's like what the hell and I'm level well I'm level 7 well I don't cast my buffs but uh, still I mean they, his, his dispel shouldn't be that powerful but it is come on cast it you prick Cast it, you prick. He's not gonna cast it. What the heck? So now I'm I'm sitting here, well, do I buff or do I just let him I'm gonna buff. Oh here he comes. Oh okay, there's nothing to dispel. Well that makes sense. Now watch this. It'll it'll instantly dispel this, guaranteed. Yep, there it is, see? Alright, well fine. Now I'm going to cast it again. To wait. <laughs> Time for a bit of the Die. roof and tumble. Okay, I'm going to have to probably lower my Thaco just a bit more. He's ridiculously he's got he's got an armor class of some ridiculous number. So uh, uh potion of heroism, potion of mind focusing to increase my dexterity. Which uh if you're using a ranged weapon, it increases your two hit. So there you are. There you are. Yeah. He doesn't have a whole lot of hit points, but like I said, he's got a really low armor class. Okay, this, this I think is heal. Wait forever, so I, I only have to roll a 16 now. It's a pretty good chance to hit him. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to use the lightning bolts because he's like got a huge magic resistance. Basically. And a, and a very low save, so even if it gets past his magic resistance, he's going to save for half. Come on, man. There you go. 
There you go. There you go. A few more. That's a little too close. He's got a really nasty attack. I used to be able to do this a lot earlier because I took advantage of the Wand of Summoning. Um, I put it on Edwin, and in the old version, the Wand of Summoning was a lot better. Just summon a huge stack of people. But uh, I've got to wait till the end now. And really, ranged attacks are the only... Oh, my God. That's a little close. Ranged attacks are kind of the only way to go with this guy. Because uh, he's, like, almost as bad as Saravok. In fact, he might be worse. There we go. Okay, finally got him. Drizz. I cannot pronounce that name. It's it's unpronounceable. I say Drizzit because Drizzit is probably how I would say it. In fact, it is how I would say it. Um, so, we probably want to go to this temple, have things... Oh, wait. We don't need, we don't need to go here. Let's just go straight to Baldur's Gate. And, oh, actually, yes, we do want to go here because we want to heal up real quick. Which we could probably do outside. Let's go ahead and heal up outside. There we go. Now let's go to Baldur's Gate. We, I am going to keep the, skip the Tales of the Sword Coast expansion thing because it's just not very interesting for me. And it's basically just a waste of time and it doesn't give me anything. I could get some more experience, but I'm not looking to increase my level. So, sorry for those of you who wanted to see that. It's it's just not... Yeah, it's not worth it. I just run through it like this anyway. Okay, so we want to talk to this guy again. This is our final buying spree here before we go for the last uh, part of the game. And uh, this is... They changed these around. These aren't as powerful as they used to be. This one's better, actually. It gives plus 50% to your uh, fire resistance. Um, but this one... Uh, this one used to be a lot better. It used to be a plus 5 weapon. It's now only a plus 3. So it's very underwhelming now. I don't know why they changed it like that. Okay, we want uh, bolts plus 2. We're going to have to hit another really nasty melee character with a really low armor class. and that, His name is Saravok. So we're going we're gonna to ditch the bolts plus one for bolts plus two. Yep. Yep, we're just literally going to ditch those. Those are gone forever. From now on, we're using bolts plus two or bolts of lightning. Or uh, arrows of detonation, of course, in, in some specific yes. circumstances. In fact, I'm going to buy one more round of arrows of detonation. Or at least uh, five more rounds, I guess. Arrows of detonation right there. You don't need um, Thaco with these, these auto hit. And let me yes. see if there's anything else I might want, just in case. He probably has a few potions I might want to grab off him. Potion of Heroism, we have one. We have one of those. Um, potion of Absorption, I might want to... I don't remember if I have one. I'm going to take one. Potion of Magic Protection, I'm going to take one. I'm not sure if I have one probably do but okay and that's actually it okay we're gonna go over here done and done we're also going to haste ourselves real quick and well, I'm going go in here and she oh, has <laughs> she has one potion that I need potion of power 
Okay, so that lowers your Thaco by 20% on, I believe it's on top of the Potion of Heroism. It's for a shorter oh, time though, task. but it's extremely oh, nice task. to stack those and I'll get a very, very low Thaco when I have all those stacked and I'll be able to, uh, should be able to just destroy Saravok. Um, uh, I'm gonna go here first because I need some more. I want to make sure oh, I have plenty of potions of haste. I probably have enough right now, but I'm going to make doubly sure. So we're gonna go back over here. I think I could have gone in the other way, huh? Oh well. Oh, run in toss. here without pain. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude. Long's greatest gift. Was the ability to invent. I don't know why this priest has these these things, but okay. Well, I can't buy that many. Give me three. All right. Hello. That's, nice to make the acquaintance. <clears throat> cultured person. That's all the money I have. Well, of course. So <laughs> now we got to go over here, and uh, we got to get a book, and well, we got to get an invitation. <laughs> yeah. Got to get a diary, in fact. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't need if you. I, I don't know if you actually need well, the diary. Task. A simple task. To, I mean, you, it's it's task. necessary f to prove something, but I don't know if you even need to prove something. Done and done. I don't know. We'll, uh, who knows? We'll do it anyway. I don't think we need to even talk to this place. Nope, no mercy. Eh, my reputation still fine. They can mercilessly, uh, mercy, mercilessly kill people, and uh, you know, still be, still be average task. reputation. No done problem. And done. No reputation hit for task. that. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll now we've got to go to the brothel. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. Done and done. A simple task. And this, uh, no, this is not too bad, but this guy's hasted. Dude. How do? Again, no honor at all. I just attack him before he's ready. There goes him. And one of these is the invitation. That's actually all I need, but because I'm bloodthirsty, I'm going to kill the other person too. Again, with no warning. Or wait a minute, I can't see her yet. She's. I think she's right here. Or it's possible that she didn't spawn. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, I. It's possible that him not uh, seeing me made her not spawn. I don't. I don't know. But anyway, I'm not gonna waste my time with that. So we're going over here. And we're going to a party. Where are we? We need to go down here. We're going to party. Nope, this is not right. Okay, we need to go over here then. No. How do I get over here? Okay, well, I don't remember how to get over here. I guess I gotta go all the way around. Whoops. Something on your mind? Sorry, no time to talk, peasant. Hmm? Hello. Okay. Invitations. Got the invitations. I serve the flaming fist. And all that. And so I don't need these. I just need the diary. Or do I need these? I'll keep them around. No, I don't need the invitation. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. Because this guy's going to ask me for it. Ho-ho. I just about got kicked out of task. here. 
All right, so uh, this part is can be hard because you got to protect somebody, and uh, it can be tough with just one character. But we're gonna go for it. All right. As all of you know, this is a special occasion for the city of Baldur's Gate. The votes have been tallied from those submitted by the landowners. The result was nearly unanimous. What of Duke Elton? Has his condition improved at all? If he dies, who will replace him? What about the rumors of Arm mobilizing for war? Why aren't we preparing for war? With our iron shortage, how are we to defend ourselves? Who will give us the iron we need? What of the Centaurum? I've heard that they may be somehow involved. I believe that Elton was poisoned by members of the Shadow Thieves. They're obviously trying to kill our leaders. All of your questions will be answered in due time. You need not worry. Antar was killed by shadow thieves, agents of Arm. If it isn't obvious to the rest of you, it's obvious to me. Arm wants a war. The evidence we have about Antar's murder does resemble the work of the shadow thieves, but... Resembles? That's ridiculous! The signature left behind on the body was the mark of the Shadow Thieves! Are you blind and stupid, woman? If I may continue. The signature left behind was very blatant, and could have been put there to mislead all of us. Who would want to mislead us? Perhaps I could interject something before this meeting degenerates into meaningless bickering. Introducing the new Grand Duke, Saravok Anchev. All right, well, the, the basic story here is um, Saravok's been trying to start a war here, and so he's been stirring up trouble, and he's got his um, doppelgangers here um, acting as prominent nobles <clears throat> to try and influence the meeting and try to get... Uh, um, they, they vote for him as... Uh, as a replacement duke for the duke he poisoned, and also um, he wants to start a war with Om because uh, he wants a lot of killing, basically. Um, I am honored to be here before such a respected assemblage of noblemen. I accept my new position with full awareness uh, to my new responsibilities, and I will have many of them. And so, uh, let's see... So he basically he is crowned or appointed Grand Duke because he he poisoned the Duke, and uh, the Duke's actually I don't don't think he's dead yet. Well, we didn't do that part of the story, but whatever. Maybe he died. We don't know. But anyway, we have proof that Saravak is a bad guy. Hmm. Uh, the rumors about Om mobilizing for war is entirely true as the involvement of the Zentarum cohorts, but do not worry. We are not bereft of defense. Okay, so he's trying to mobilize Wait a war a here. Moment. That is not in your power to decide. So... Shut up! Let Servox speak! All right. Instead of waiting for the war to come to us, we will take it to them. With a flaming fist, we should be able to easily take the town of Nashville and then quickly fortify the mountain pass through the cloud peaks. What? Who dares interrupt? Oh, that would be me. Okay. Um. All right. So I came in here, and now his uh, doppelgangers are changing. And here's the thing. I have to stop them from killing... Who is this? What is her, whatever his face is. Belt? That's his name? Are we sure? Okay. Yeah, I have to stop them from killing Belt. Because if they do, I lose. So, what we have to do is we have to kill these guys really quick. And I'm going to actually bust out with horror here. I actually thought that should have worked on some of them. Well, that guy's running. There we go. Okay, get rid of him. Let's help him with that guy. Ouch. This can be tough because these guys are hasty. And I'm trying to get over here. 
There we go. Okay, cool. So it looks like belt is um is is okay right now. He's got a lot of help too right now, which is good. These guys are following me, which is better than having them actually wailing on him, so. It's all right, that guy's gone. They give a lot of experience. Oh, I'm really close to next level, but I don't take the next level, by the way. I, I, I purposely do not take it. Because uh, normally 89,000 was the old experience cap, um, or whatever level you were at when you got to there. Um, so that's the that's the level I want to be at, level seven, when I enter Baldur's Gate two. And the reason for that, I'm not sure. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, the reason for that is um, we don't want we don't want the NPCs that join us to be any higher than their base level. And I don't actually know in the enhanced edition really how that works because i don't know if i if i enter the baldur's gate 2 enhanced edition with a character that can level up i don't know if he still gets that ability to level up or if they reset that experience down to 89,000 or what happens so i don't i don't know but i think it's only when you take a level up that that increases you know the uh, the level that people you run across have I I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, take a look at these documents. Nah. Uh oh. Oh, we've got a nice, uh, well, that was weird. I almost thought we had some kind of dialogue loop right there. All right, so Saravok is, um, he'll do a little bit of attacking, but once he gets hurt I, by just a small amount, he'll, he'll go ahead. Oh, my God. Once he gets hurt by a little bit, he'll go ahead and stop. I don't believe that I missed with that kind of attack bonus okay i i <laughs> i hit him uh i rolled a 19 and i still missed him the prick so he's uh dang well i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and call the shot then still missing run as you will Cannot hide forever. All right. Well, um, he's just gonna run. Boy, that was that was crazy. So he just got hit once and he ran. So okay. I kicked him in the head till he was dead. <laughs> a simple task. All right, I kind of need to heal. Now I think we're just gonna. Now I think we'll be fine actually. Okay, so we've got to do a little bit of pre-buffing here. Potion of magic protection. This is for the traps that we're gonna be running into. I can also ditch all of these quest item things or storyline stuff. Okay, so got got uh, 50%, no, 75% magic resistance, 40% fire resistance. This is for probably all the traps that I'm no doubt going to be running into. I could even do a protection from fire right now. I'll do that. Because a lot of the traps are fire. So just in case. 
And we're going to be avoiding most of the enemies. I don't need the experience. I just need to get to Saravok. So this is just a matter of me basically running through everything as fast as possible. I would, you know, in some cases probably oh, cool. <laughs> take the enemies out for experience, but I don't I don't have any reason to do that because I actually don't want to get any higher in experience. I'm afraid that if I do, I'm, I'm just not sure about how the Enhanced Edition calculates the NPC join level. And I'm not sure if my experience, my level, either of those... Yeah. So we're just uh, avoiding everything. There's going to be a trap around here somewhere. Sound like that guy got hit. Well, apparently there's not going to be a trap around here. I'm pretty sure there was a couple of traps. Oh, there they are. Okay. Fireball, but I'm immune to fire, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and quaff another potion. We have got, we've got plenty, so let's go ahead. No reason to go through here is slow, right? This is a hell of a maze. Can I open that? I probably could. Let's just go through this way. God. Well, I thought it was shorter than this. I can't remember it being shorter than this. Okay, so. I'm pretty sure over here is the exit. Yeah, there it is. And there's a guy there you can talk to. Cue another crappy cutscene. Why did they even bother? I understand that. Okay, I think I may need to rest and heal here. Yeah, let's do that a couple of times. One more time. All right, so here we go. This is the final battle that we're going to go into. Um, I'm not going to buff until I actually get in there, except for a potion of haste. Because I don't know, like, um, if I'm going to be subject to uh, being debuffed at any point. This doesn't need to be here. So let's just go ahead and do this. I have a copy of this one, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. Like I said, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of enemies in here you could fight if you really wanted to. The unfortunate part is I'm going to have to do this without the Helm of the Boulder on. So that's minus one Thaco. And the reason I'm going to have to do that is because where is this thing is because i want to um well actually no you know what i can export when i when i export my character i don't want the helm of the balder on on him because that's going to um that's going to import rather than my claw of the Kaz, claw of kazgaroth and uh you can't import both. It's one or the other. And Helm of the Balderon takes precedence. So I'm going to have to dump that um, right before I save my character or export my character somehow. So it probably means I'm going to have to kill um, Saravok without it, without the Helm of the Balderon, which kind of sucks. All right, so we're going to go in. And oh, wow, I've got a bunch of bats in the way. That's cute. I should probably probably quaff a potion of magic protection and just run around and, and untrap the place. A simple task. I'm not sure if these guys can see me while I'm invisible or not. Okay, there's one. You are indeed family. No other could have lived to a face me. Face the new Lord of Murder. Traps, 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 traps. Okay, well this guy's here. It's fun. This guy doesn't need anything special. 
Uh, is that it? I, I seem to remember him having more people than that helping him. Domination? I don't think so, bro. Again with that crap. Um, I don't know if he's immune to. I'm sure he's immune to this. All right. Well, really, the debuff spells are, are what I'm afraid of. Okay, and that's it for that guy. Just gonna check things here. Nope, nothing I care about. All right, so uh, I believe that's no. He had a he had other helpers. I'm pretty sure. Let's go see what else he's got. Ooh, these things. These things have a really low armor class. Oh crap! And they're immune to missile damage. Okay. So we forget about those guys. Or do I want to take them out? What's my Thaco with this thing? Not very good, that's for sure. I could probably take them out. Let's go ahead and... Uh, do I have a potion of strength of some kind? A frost giant strength is the best I got, which is pretty pathetic. You know what? Let's use this instead, because this is uh, this is suppressing my haste. At least this way, I get two attacks. Die. Chunked him. Alright, what else we got? I'm pretty sure he, he summons something else. Okay, so that's all he's got right now. And I'm not having any trouble with traps. I think it's time... Oh, there's one. Okay, I was I was uh, thinking there might have been some traps that dispelled my magic, so that's why I was waiting to buff. Okay, so we're going to buff now. Get serious now. These are not going to be used. Um, and he has immunity, basically. Yeah, he basically has immunity to uh, magic. So I'm not going to bother with the arrows of detonation. Another gold beer. And, all right, so what do we want? We want, we want the potions of, two potions of mind focusing. Potion of invulnerability isn't necessary. He's not even going to hit me. Potion of regenerate, and potion of power, potion of heroism. Those are what we want. Thankfully, these last a very long time. They go minus one, but it gets better. Minus three. And one more. Minus four. Okay, minus four, but it gets a little bit better because we also get to cast a uh, called shot. Cast called shot really quick. Oh, what? No, 
no, you don't get to do that, you little prick. Oh, I can't go out. Oh, okay, this is what I was ah, this is what I was worried about. God dang it. I thought I got thought I got rid of these people. Good. Okay. Casting failure. Excellent. Alright, die. Whoa boy. There's another trap. Which Saravok oh wow. Got through his magic resistance, I guess. This guy whoops, you need to die. I do not fear death. Do you? Oh great. I want to get rid of this guy first. The the horror thing is uh I'm just gonna avoid that because I can't missile that. You die, 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 die. There we go. Okay, good. That guy's out of the way. Um I'm gonna call the shot. Yeah, baby. Oh wow. Oh my god, really? I rolled an attack of two and it hit. So, he doesn't have the armor class that I remember him having. So, that's fine. This is easy. I thought he had a lot lower armor class than that. I guess not. He does have some, uh, some damage resistance, though, but that's okay. Not gonna matter. Another trap. Magic resistance. And Sir, you know what? They must have changed Siravak. He used to have like uh, nearly, it wasn't a hundred percent, but it was like ninety or eighty percent magic resistance, and his armor class was really, really low from what I remember. But they must have, they must have uh, changed that. That's the only thing that makes sense here. Okay, called shot wore off, but we don't really need that, do we? Yeah, he's not resisting any of these things. Although, let me see, um, the Skull Trap, I don't know if that bypasses magic resistance or not. I don't think it does. So what the heck, Saravak? You're not the you're not the big baddie that I remember. Maybe I'm misremembering. I don't know. Okay, well, he's probably nearly dead. I actually don't need the Helm of the Balderon anyway, so we drop it. We drop this. The Spider's Bane, I don't think that imports, but I'm going to I'm gonna use a, put that on anyway. Um, Claw, Claw of the Kazgaroth. Claw of Kazgaroth. We, we're keeping that. This we don't need. This we don't need. This stuff doesn't import. Uh, this, this doesn't import either, but I don't need it anyway, so... I'm trying to think about other stuff that I should be dropping here just to make sure it doesn't override my claw that Kazgaroth. I don't think there's anything. So. All right. Here we go. Die. A couple more hits or one more hit probably. Not yet. Really? Really? There it is. That was actually a lot easier than I was expecting. I, for some reason, I remember that being a lot harder. They might have made it easier.
there, right? What was that? That was like five, six hours to go through Baldur's Gate 1, something like that. All right, yeah. Okay, and this is, of course, the credits. Um, I believe that made me a character to import. But anyway, okay, so off to Baldur's Gate 2, and uh, I will see you there.